Hey everyone! This week I wanted to do a kind of a lemon theme for my plan with me. And even though fall has already started, I wanted to encourage you guys to go ahead and make or decorate your planner as in any way that you want to. Don't let the season or the time of year um, restrict you to the colors you use or the themes you use because I feel like a lot of times around fall I feel like I have to use a certain color scheme but sometimes I don't want to be restricted to that. This happy planner, the botanical planner, has purple lettering for the days of the week and that's not really going to fit in with the color scheme that I want to use this week. So I'm going to be covering that up using scrapbook paper that I cut out. In order to add the headers, because I do like this shade of pink, I'm going to be using stickers that I made just on Microsoft Word and then printed out onto this clear sticker paper made by Avery. I really like these clear stickers. This is the first time I'm using them, but I feel like they have a lot of potential for use in planners and opening up the um, versatility of ways that you can use them and what you can actually do with your planner. I also made these lemon shapes on Microsoft Word by just overlapping two of the shapes that you can create through that software and I'm going to be using these as to do boxes. Another great thing about these clear stickers is that you can use them on the weekend portion of your planner which typically in a lot of the happy planners comes with a colored background. But most of the time you don't want to have this white outline around your stickers when there is a colored background. Or at least I don't personally like that. So I um, am excited to start using more of these clear stickers on, my, on the weekend portion of my layouts. So I think this is a fun way of changing up your to-do boxes is instead of the traditional square shape. Also, if you're concerned about the ink um, being smeared on top of these clear stickers, if you use a permanent marker, it doesn't come off, so it shouldn't be a problem. I hope this video gave you some new ideas for personalizing your planner and exploring new ways to customize it, whether that be using clear stickers or scrap of paper, whatever you think of. And also encouraging you to reach outside of your comfort zone in, um, for example, what you feel like you, the color schemes that you're restricted to or the themes you're restricted to based upon what time of year it is or what season it is. If you'd like to see more planner ideas, please check out my Instagram at personalizedmyplanner and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!